been in talks with Tarange about this new idea and new play that she had been working on and thinking about. And it had to do with Duke Ellington and his band and Billy Strayhorn being in the Middle East in 1963. 1960s was sort of in the thick of the Cold War, right? At the same time, the civil rights movement was happening in the U.S. And so black Americans were fighting for their rights and there were a lot of clashes. All of that was being broadcast across the world. And that made it doubly important for the Kennedy administration to send uh, black artists um, abroad to represent uh, American freedom and democracy. In our story, uh, the character that is inspired by, uh, by um, one of Duke Ellington's musicians, he is very resentful. He's very angry that he was sort of forced to leave the U.S. in the middle of the civil rights movement. And when he, he's surprised to connect both artistically with this young actress, but also politically with another musician who plays at the club, because he's also you know, an advocate for freedom and democracy within the context of Iran. In the play, there's many moods. There's happy moods, there's tragic moods, there's sad, there's serious moods, there's uh, contemplative, and all these different sort of types of things that the blues is able to evoke, uh, is able to support melodramatically. The blues can do all of that because it's the dichotomy between tri tragedy and triumph. It's ugly, it's beautiful. Uh, it's the experience of, be of having to deal with both. The play is full of that. <laughs> 